Hey everyone, welcome to the photographs of the Great Depression assignment. This is a free writing journal assignment that will continue in class tomorrow with a small group and full class discussion. Your homework tonight is to view the slideshow. Pause the video after a brief description of each photograph or group of photographs that are presented and spend one to two minutes free writing in your journal on each picture. Focus not only on what you observe, but also any emotion you can see in the photographs or any emotion that it may make you feel. As always, with our free writing work, it will be graded for participation, not for grammar. You should come to class tomorrow prepared to join your assigned group, which I'll assign on a random basis, and discuss what you have written on each photograph. We will then open it up to a teacher-led class discussion. Be prepared when you come to class. We have a lot to cover, and we'll only spend part of the class period on this assignment. The first section we're going to cover is on the Dust Bowl. This map shows the states that were considered Dust Bowl states and the areas affected by dust storms. Notice that many states not considered Dust Bowl states were still damaged by dust storms. The whole middle of the United States was literally blowing away. Ships on the Atlantic Ocean reported clouds of dust dropping up to an inch of soot on the decks of boats. Farmers and small towns were hit especially hard in the Great Depression. One of the agencies that paid photographers was the Farm Security Administration. The FSA worked to improve standards for agricultural workers as part of the New Deal. Their photographers documented the challenges of rural life in the Dust Bowl. As America worked to fight through the double whammy of its worst economic period combined with its worst drought in history, the photographs began to occupy a significant position in America's conscience. Here you see a dust cloud blowing up on the small town of Elkhart, Kansas in 1937. Pictured is a dust storm in 1935. Wall clouds of dust, once some of the most fertile farmland, can be seen blowing across the plains here. People boarded up windows, stuffed rags under their doors, and covered their mouth and noses with wet kerchiefs to attempt to breathe easier. Ultimately, many abandoned their homes and never returned. This photograph is from the Dust Bowl in Texas in 1935. In a black and white photo, it's easy to mistake this with a Midwestern winter snowstorm or blizzard, but that is actually sand up over the roofs of houses. Pause the video here and write about what you've seen with the Dust Bowl. While these photographs may not show emotion, how does it make you feel viewing them? Riding the rails became common during the Great Depression. Who do you think these people are and what are they trying to accomplish? Pause the video and write down your thoughts and feelings on this photograph. Remember that unemployment climbed as high as 25% during the Great Depression. The following photographs show the desperation of some Americans along with unemployment lines and bread lines. Take a few minutes and view this photo. Pause the video and write a reaction to the photo Migrant Mother taken by Dorothea Lange in 1936 in California. For example, what emotions does it elicit? Explain why. In this photograph, we see children protesting with their parents about a lack of available jobs. Pause the video and write in your journal and be sure to address the following. How do you think these kids feel about the situation their family is in? Do you think they have an understanding of what is happening and why? What else does this photograph make you feel? Write about why you think this man refuses to accept charity. Consider the role that the government plays in our lives today 
versus a role it played before the Great Depression. Pause the video again and focus on this photograph. African Americans were hit especially hard during the Great Depression. Pause the video and write about the irony in this photograph. The term Hooverville was a derogatory reference to President Hoover as we have discussed. How would you feel living in one of these shacks? View the following slides and then pause to write about them when instructed to do so. This first photograph is of Central Park in New York City in 1935. The buildings in the background include apartments for the very wealthy. Again, we see the high rises extend high above the Hooverville in Central Park in New York City. Pause the video and write what you see and feel viewing the Hooverville photographs. Remember, these Hoovervilles were not just in New York City, but in most major cities throughout the entire country. This concludes the slideshow and video. Again, make sure you are prepared to move to your groups and discuss the thoughts and ideas you wrote down tonight. See you in class tomorrow.